So the style of options trading that we practice on our options trading desk here at SMB Capital is known as options income trading. And for the most part, our traders are involved in longer term trades that typically last between 30 and 60 days. However, that's a pretty long time horizon for many traders. And so I often get asked the question, what would be a way to get that time frame down to one or two days and still have the opportunity to earn really superior returns? So one way that this can be done is through setting up option strategies that are designed to start the day before a company releases its earnings and wrap that same trade up the next morning after the earnings have been released. The strategy that I'll be showing you today has one great component, and that is that you don't need to predict the direction that a stock will take after earnings. Whether the market loves or hates the earnings release is immaterial to us. Instead, we're focusing on another issue which has to do with how the options market is actually predicting the move the stock will make in either direction after the earnings are released. This is a powerful technique and can yield incredible returns in the right circumstances and you are in and out of the trade in less than 24 hours. So if you're interested in an options trading strategy where you can get in and out of the trade in less than a day and in some cases earn a profit of more than 100% of your initial investment, then I think you're going to be interested in this video, so stick around. Hi, I'm Seth Freuberg, and I'm the head trader of SMB Capital's Options Trading Desk. SMB Capital is a proprietary trading firm located in Midtown Manhattan, and we provide capital for options and equity traders from all over the world, trading both remotely and in our offices here in New York City. You'll want to click our subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our free trading videos produced for the trading and investing community. Now, in this video, we're going to be reviewing an option strategy known as the Iron Butterfly, and we're going to be applying that strategy to a very specific time period the day before earnings are released and the day right after earnings are released. Because of the way that options change value around earnings releases, the returns in some cases can be spectacular, particularly if you do some work to identify trades that are more likely than not to be successful. I think you'll find this approach to options trading pretty eye-opening because of the return potential and how quickly those returns can be earned. And while we're talking about option strategies, if you'd like to learn three more real-world option strategies that our traders use, including the simple and powerful strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world, like Warren Buffett, use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with the stock that you like, where you'll make your target profit whether the stock goes up goes nowhere or even goes down a small percentage, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing right now at the top right corner of your screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window, so don't worry, you won't lose this video. You can also visit optionsclass.com to register for this free intensive workshop. It's a rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. Okay, so let's jump in. So let's think about what happens when a company releases its earnings. In most cases, as almost all of you know, the earnings release is almost always accompanied by a large move, which is essentially the market's reaction to that earnings release and the accompanying company commentary. Well, the options market is basically the place where the market makes its bets about the likely magnitude of a move that will follow a company releasing its earning report. Well, the market makers who set the pricing for the calls and the puts, puts, they've got to build enough price into the options to be able to absorb a big move in a stock and still make money on the option. This is particularly true of the options that are at the same price that the market is trading, which in the options world is known as the, as the at the money options. Why? because if there's going to be a large move on a stock in either direction, and you don't know which direction that will be, then you had better beef up your price before earnings, particularly the at the money put and the at the money call options, because one thing is almost a certainty. The stock will take off in one direction or the other, and you need to have collected enough premium to absorb that move and still make a profit. So let's show an example that will bring all of this into focus. So here's a stock 
And by the way, this is a real stock. This is a real historical example, but I don't want you to get focused on this particular stock. I want you to understand the principles at work so that you can apply these same principles to any stock that you'd like to trade. So here's a stock that was trading at around 1870 on this day. Now I want you to focus on the at the money call and the at the money put on these options, which happen to be expiring the next day. Now if you buy an at the money call and an at the money put at the same time, that position is called a long straddle. And in this case, which is just a normal week for the stock, the straddle for the stock is priced at simply the sum of the price of the at the money call plus the price of the at the money put. And that makes sense because the two together make up the at the money straddle. So in this case, the two combined yield a price of $23.42. Now, let's take a look at that exact same stock 15 minutes before the market closed on the trading day just prior to the earnings being released for the stock. And that's just a few weeks later than that last example. Now, I want you to focus on the cost of the at the money call and put. In other words, the straddle price on that day on this stock, which is now trading at $17.40. You'll see that the, the straddle price has now skyrocketed. The at the money call is up to $49.47, and the at the money put is up to $48.09. So the total straddle price is $97.56. In the normal week that we just showed you previous to this, the cost was less than 25% of that. 23.42 and this makes sense of course because the next morning this 1740 stock is going to most likely make a very large move earnings are coming and the market makers need a lot of premium to absorb that move because either the at the money call or the at the money put the next morning are going to be deep in the money so they need to be collecting enough money from both bets the call buyers and the put buyers so they'll be able to absorb that hit and make money so with all of that as an introduction, now let's talk about the iron butterfly. The iron butterfly is basically a short straddle where we sell the at the money call and we sell the at the money put at the same place, in this case at the market price of the stock. And then we buy what are called wings, which are a protective long call and a protective long put to protect the position if the market moves too far in either direction. Now, let's take a look at an iron butterfly that we could have put on the day before earnings on this stock where we are short the at the money call and we're short the at the money put. You also see that we are long the call 60 points above the market and long the put 60 points below the market. This entire combination of short and long options is known as an iron butterfly. Now if you do the math you'll realize that if you add up the cost of the long options you're buying and the income you'll receive from the short options you're selling you're actually ending up with a credit of $5,278. So that cash will go into your account the day you do this transaction. Now, for reasons I can explain another time having to do with the way that your broker will treat this transaction, the worst case scenario for this trade, in other words, the capital you have in the trade, is actually $722. Now, let's fast forward the next day after earnings have been released, which is also the final trading day for these options. Now let's break this down option by option now and you're going to learn a lot about what happens to options pricing after earnings have been released. Now in this case the market was happy with the earnings release and by 1030 in the next morning the stock was already up 55 bucks to 1792. So now with about five and a half trading hours left let's take a look at the pricing of each of the options comprising the iron butterfly. Now the protective call at the top which incidentally we paid $22.18 for, even though the stock is soaring, the price of that option has dropped to $9.21. That's because the news is out. There's only about five hours left for the market to further rally to $1,800. Remember, the news is already out at this point. So there's no mystery as to how the company did that quarter. Now let's focus very importantly on the short call at $17.40. Now that option, which we were paid $49.47 for, Originally, that's risen to 52.50, which you'd expect because the stock is up so much. You would have to expect that call, which is now so deep in the money, would increase in value to some extent. And since we're short that call, that's not good for us. Okay, so we're down money on both the long call and the short call. Now let's focus on the put side. Originally, we were paid $48.09 for that put. Well, now it's worth 
58 cents. Why? Because the market has rallied so much up to 17.92 and there's, there's less than a day left for the stock to drop back down 52 points and give that put, put option at 17.40 any value at all. So that's a huge profit we've got on that put right now. And then finally, the 16.80 protective put, well, that's dropped to near worthless at 53 cents. So when you do the math by 10.30 the next morning, here's the scorecard of what you'd need to pay to actually reverse the original trade and therefore close the entire position. As you can see, if you add to our original credit of 52.78, the credit we get for selling the long call and selling the long put, and then subtract out from that the cost of buying back the short call and buying back the short put, we're left with a profit of $974 by 10.30 in the morning. Remember, now I told you that your broker would require $722 of capital for this transaction. So that comes out to a return of a little over 130% by the next morning, which is not a bad payday. And incidentally, if you had waited another hour, the return actually would have been closer to 300%, but we'll take 130% return in about two trading hours. Now, obviously the market reaction could have been much stronger, in which case if the stock moved too far in one direction or another, there is the possibility of you having a loss. So you obviously don't want to take a trade like this with a large portion of your capital. This should always be a small trade because of the loss potential. Incidentally, there are tools that are available for identifying stocks where there's a tendency for the market to overestimate the likely move of that particular stock after earnings by looking back at the last two to three years of earnings releases for that stock. So for instance, if over the last three years, the options market overestimated the move of a stock by 80% as measured by the price of the at the money straddle the day before earnings, you might want to take a look at this strategy for that stock for, again, a small amount of capital. So what is the major takeaway from this example we've shown you today? The major lesson from today's video is the dramatic change that occurs in options pricing right before and after earnings. Since the prices are pumped up so substantially right before earnings, if you're short those pumped up options, protected, of course, by long options farther away, with the right stocks, there's money to be made if the stock's post-earnings move is a little less forceful than the options market had priced in. With the right candidates, this is a professional trade that has potential. Just to remind you, as I said earlier, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn three more real-world strategies, like a simple and powerful strategy that some of the greatest investors in the world, like Warren Buffett, use all the time, plus an options trading strategy that has a statistical 80% probability of profit, month in and month out, plus an option strategy that you can employ with a stock that you like where you'll make your target profit, whether the stock goes up, goes nowhere, or even goes down a small percentage, then you should check out the free options class that we're currently running. Just go ahead and click the link that should be appearing now at the top right-hand corner of the screen. That will open the free registration page in a new window so you won't lose this video. It's an extremely rare opportunity for retail traders and investors to learn directly from Wall Street traders, but that's exactly what you'll be getting through this free online workshop. So click the link to sign up now and don't miss it. And one more thing I'd like you to do is go ahead and click our subscribe button so you don't miss any of our trading videos produced for the trading and investment community. And while you're at it, add some feedback to the comments section for what videos you'd like to see us produce in the future. So from all of us at SMB, trade well.